Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and in this video you'll learn about Google's Analytics Certification. Earning your qualification has three main benefits. You'll have a certificate saying you're qualified, you'll be able to demonstrate your Google Analytics knowledge, and the biggest benefit is you'll be able to say you've earned your Google Analytics individual qualification. You can add this to your LinkedIn profile and your CV. So they're the benefits of earning your qualification. In this video, you'll learn how to study for the exam, we'll look at some practice questions, how to sit the exam, and what happens if you don't pass the exam the first time. Let's get started. So how can we study for the exam? Well, Google provides a number of resources to help us study for the exam. First, there's Google's Analytics Academy, which is home to Google's free courses that you can take in your own time. Google recommends completing the Google Analytics for Beginners and the Advanced Google Analytics courses before taking the exam. The courses are primarily made up of video lessons, but there is also the option to read through the lessons if you prefer. And I also recommend downloading my special Google Analytics study guide, which is a condensed version of Google's learning resources. My study guide makes it quicker and easy to learn and refresh on the most important exam topics. You can find details about my study guide in the description below this video. I also recommend that if you're going to take the exam for the first time that you spend some time playing with Google Analytics. Being familiar with the interface and getting to know the reports will make things easier. And if you don't have access to a real Google Analytics account, then make sure you have access to the Google Analytics demo account. So what are the exam questions like? Well, all of the questions are multiple choice, so you select the best possible answer from the available options. They do cover a broad range of topics from basic principles, what's contained in particular reports, through to technical questions about browser cookies and how the tracking code works. Let's look at three practice questions. These are based on the types of questions you might find in your exam. The first question is, which of the following campaign tags is required? Is the answer term, medium, content, or are all of the tags required? What do you think the answer is? Well, the correct answer is B, medium. We always need to define the medium when using campaign tags to measure our inbound marketing campaigns. The next practice question is, what are the four scopes available for dimensions and metrics in Google Analytics? Is the answer A, hit level, session level, product level, or user level scope? B, location level, duration level, product level, or user level scope? C, event level, session level, transaction level, or user level scope, or D, event level, duration level, transaction level, or user level scope. What do you think? The correct answer is A, hit level, session level, product level, or user level scope. And our final practice question. How does Google Analytics distinguish between new and returning users? Is the answer A, facial recognition technology, B, artificial intelligence, C, a browser cookie and a randomly assigned unique identifier, or D, a browser cookie and a sequentially assigned unique identifier. What do you think the correct answer is? Well, the correct answer is C, a browser cookie and a randomly assigned unique identifier. So they're just three examples of the types of questions you might find in the exam. Your exam will include 70 randomized questions, so you'll need to be prepared on all of the possible exam topics. If you'd like to test yourself with even more practice questions, then you can find a link to my Google Analytics exam practice questions in the description below this video. You have one and a half hours to take the exam and you'll need to get 80% of the questions correct in order to pass the exam. Once you've passed the exam, your certificate will be current for 18 months. So how do we sit the exam? The exam is free to take and you can sit the exam inside Google's Academy for Ads. Let's take a look. After creating your account, just look for Google Analytics Individual Qualification. You can find the study resources, which are just links to Google's Analytics Academy at the bottom of the page. When you're ready to take the exam, click Analytics Assessment and then click launch when you're ready to start. What happens if you fail the Google Analytics exam? Well, if you do fail the exam, you'll have to wait one day before trying the exam again. And there isn't a penalty for failing the exam, other than having to wait for your next attempt. That's it. 
so that's how you can sit the exam and the resources you can use to study for the exam. Remember that once you've passed the exam, you'll be able to say you've earned your Google Analytics individual qualification and print your certificate. And don't forget to add your qualification to LinkedIn and your CV. Are you studying to become a Google Analytics qualified individual or are you already qualified? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below this video. Take a moment to test your Google Analytics knowledge with even more of my practice questions for the Google Analytics exam. You can find a link in the description below this video. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.